Hey guys, and today I wanted to do a quick review. Today's review is going to be how to bring, uh, uh, do a system recovery on Aurora's X5 V6. The X5 V6 is, like I say, the highest uh, higher end uh, computer. These, uh, and I'm going to show you how to get this. So let's say your Windows gets crapped up or the icons don't work. The easiest way to do it, you can just barrel out and just hold it down. Okay. Turn the button on, and the little screen will come up with the, the options. You're going to hit the F9. So down here, there's a, there's your options. What you want to do? I'm going to hit F9 a few times. And it says uh, system recovery. So please wait. Let's see what happens. So it's nice that they have this, and this will bring it back. What you should do is really back up these system recovery partition, because then you'll have an extra partition, you know, and which would be nice. You know, you could. Recover that or whatever you have to do. I'm going to get another solid state drive and then recover it to that one, and that's going to be cool. So you can see it loaded a little uh, batch file there, and now it's going to come up. It's coming up too. Okay, now you have a few options. I'm going to go here to troubleshoot, and I'm going to go recover it, and I'm recovering to factory settings. It says uh, smart recovery. Uh, comes up that message that says. Um, do you want to, you know, recover your PC? Yes. And we're going to start on that. And so let that run, and then we'll bring the camera back when it's when it's loaded back up. Okay. And then uh, we can take a look. And uh, by the way, these computers have two-year warranty. And then when it comes back up, uh, I'll show you. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, guys, that was very fast. Now it said the system restore is there. Okay. Now we click on shutdown. It's very fast the system restore on this computer. It's not slow. Now we turn it on. And it'll come up to just like you just bought it. I want you to, you know, just like you bought the thing and say, uh, you know, do this, do that. Um, there's a lot of computers around. Uh, I, I just got this one because I sold like most of my computers and I wanted something a little bit faster so it's definitely a good computer uh, and um, battery life on them is pretty good uh, if you just put it on you know the quiet setting normal or power save and you probably get about four hours out of it which is not too bad you know I like to get like some kind of charging brick or something I could you know take with it because I think that'd be pretty good if I could do that now it's coming up. It's just going to finish up its load up. There you go. Now it comes up. It's asking you for the language, English, uh, where we got Eastern Standard Time. Now, once I clicked on Easter Island, uh, Eastern, next, except I'm not going to connect to the network right now. <clears throat> Press settings, it'll say just a moment, go through its convolutions and saying thank you and all that. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just put user, that's good enough. So system restoring is very, very, very quick. Uh, we don't want that corona, we don't want it to talk right now. And by the way, the Aorus X5 V6 is a uh, 3.9 throttled over to like 4 or 4.2 uh, overclockable 16 megabit, gigabit of RAM on this one. And you can see it's got a lit keyboard. It's going to light up because it's going to default right now. And on the back of it, uh, there's a logo on the back that lights up too. Let me show this back up. Okay. Oh, it's shut off. Put the thing down and shuts off. I doubt it. Okay. Yeah, it shuts off. I think I'll have to change the uh, power scheme on this for, uh, you know, when you put the lid down, that it doesn't power off. So, okay, it's coming again. <coughs> Clean it up. There you go. What does it say? 
you're about to be signed in. It's on all the batch files. It's going to restart and sign in. And we're done. But um, it's nice it has that recovery partition and that's really cool. But uh, I would definitely, uh, internally it's got a 256 SSD M2 and then it's got a 1 terabyte uh, 7200 RPM mechanical one. So you probably want to put another 256 and back up your operating system to that. So you can always run like a Cronus or something to back it up to the new one. But I would, you know, get something bigger, like two 500s or two one terabytes and put them in there. Okay, so it's uh, coming up now, loading into it. Another batch file again. Okay, so we're in. Um, and that is the system recovery on a Cronus X5 V6 using the Acronis. Thank you.